Hi everyone, it's Christine and I'm back. This is part two of meditation experience. I was talking about how as I, as I was continuing to meditate, this is in the beginning stages of my meditation practice, probably about, I don't know, maybe about three months, four months, five months in. I'm not clear exactly um, when it was, but that's when I was, my head kept tilting back and it kept stretching out my spine. So I would stay in that position for a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes uh, sometimes um, until I, I just needed a break. It was like doing a really difficult yoga pose. It was extremely uh, strenuous, but I knew that it was trying to do something that I needed. And after a while that stopped, I must have cleared up enough for um, the energy to go through better. And um, I think eventually just all the movement um, really stopped. It just started to become extremely subtle to a point where it was almost non-existent. And I think it's because... I. I think it's because due to a more regular meditation practice, my energy, my, my body, and my chakras could now handle that much energy coming through. So um, I think when your body doesn't have the ability to assimilate the massive amounts of energy poured, being poured upon you, you, you move. Um, but as your body can handle it, it's it's um, it it went from moving to feeling a feeling of my crown chakra as if every time I meditate and if I connect to my higher self, connect to source, connect to my guides, connect to my angels. It's typically some of the things that I say when I start meditating, and when I do that. I, I'm very specific because I was told not to open myself up to the world. I, um, yeah, because other energies can come in that could drain your energy. Anyways, um, so I, when I do meditate, I, I do feel a sensation in my crown chakra. It almost feels like it's not part of my physical body, but part of my energetic body, my light body. Um, it feels like a tunnel of energy. So imagine your head just like opening up and there's a vacuum of energy coming down. And it's really, I don't really know how to explain it. It doesn't really feel like it's part of my physical body. It feels like like there's a a hole in on the top of my head and energy is going coming down I, I feel that um, I feel that sometimes when I'm just connecting it's not always just when I'm meditating oh and and after I did that violet flame meditation it would I, I noticed that see every time like I intend to do that violet flame meditation I feel my body moving so it would start happening while I wasn't meditating and my eyes were open and sometimes when I'd be working on my computer, it would happen. It was the strangest thing. Um, it doesn't spook me out anymore. It, it did spook me out a little bit when um, I was doing some energy healing on somebody because I was um, training, I, I, after training um, to do some energy healing, I was working on one of my friends and it started happening to her too. And she got a little bit freaked out. I had no idea what was going on, but I knew um, that's what it was from. But the violet flame energy can be used to burn up and purify energy. So I would do some more research on it. I'm by no means an expert on that topic. Um, but now, so which brings me to the past few days. I just wanted to share lately what I've been feeling is that my guidance with my connection with my angels have been stronger and I've been working on trying to hear them better. I know that they're 
uh, speaking to me intuitively and so occasionally through other people as messengers. But as I'm listening and trying to feel my way through my experiences and noticing the signs, the numbers that are shown to me all the time, for example, it's 1.44 a.m. I always see this number, 144 or 1144, or 11.44. Um, always see it. If you know what that means, please let me know. Um, I have my own ideas, but I'm not even sure if that's all entirely complete. But lately, I've been, um, through the meditations, afterwards, I was able to do, um, I experimented with automatic writing. I don't know if you, any of you guys have tried it. It might be a technique that you want to try. You would, you can write on your computer or write by hand, um, write a question, and wait for a response. That response, when it comes, can come as thoughts in your head that you can transcribe onto the paper. Word, sometimes it'll come word by word, but at the end of you writing each and every word down, it ends up becoming a complete sentence. And, and it, it makes sense, and often tons of wisdom in those messages. But what I experienced was that my hand actually started to move, and I was being guided to write things. In the beginning, it was just scribbles and random pictures that, and cryptic things that I just didn't understand. Eventually, they were just gigantic words that I could make out to answer the questions that I was asking. And slowly, um, the words got thinner and smaller and more legible. And eventually, I started doing that on the computer, getting some answers. Um, but what initially would happen was that it completely drains your energy. So if you're new to meditating, this will drain your energy and you might want to sleep for hours and take a huge nap. So I would not recommend doing this. I made the mistake of trying to do this um, during the middle of the day, during a work day. You know, just a quick little question I had. I was so tired that coffee, I mean, it just, it was, it was difficult. But, um, so I experimented with that. I often use that here and there when I really have a question that um, I need an answer to. The other thing that happened to me was that I was getting yes or no answers. So I told you that my head would move. I would start asking questions and my head would start like giving me yes or no answers um, like that. And that was another technique that I started using to connect to my angels and talking to them. But now I feel like I'm getting entire synopsis like entire situations and stories downloaded to my brain through my dreams messages through the dreams I, I, I hear sometimes I, I set the intention to remember my dream and ask for guidance through the dream and then when I wake up I'll remember bits and pieces of it especially the lesson it's not necessarily the actual situation that's always important and then also I I've been feeling um, just stories or, or ideas being downloaded into my brain. So when I'm like my body's buzzing with energy and I can just like when I ask a question about how I should frame my life in the future, thoughts come to me and they just come to me. And there's just so much all at once that so many questions are answered that I know it's not just me. So time's running out, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into my experience. I would love to hear some of yours, and I will share more of my experiences um, in the future. Looking forward to hearing from all of you and sending you much love. Um, and I would love to, if you, if you want to do a reply video, um, I'd love to see those too. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.